All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about the play Wide Receiver Post from the Single Back Y Trips in the Running Gun book. Um, and I actually like this play um, for similar reasons to the play Curls, uh, but it's also just stock a good zone beater, anything with crossing routes. Um, different like levels concepts is a good zone beater too. So you can really just pretty much run this stock, right? Let's go against Overstorm Brave and we're going to call Wide Receiver Post. Now, just if they run just a stock coverage, then obviously you want to just read your tight end to your crossing route, to your C route. Um, just quickly get the ball out, right? Throw the C route. I don't really need to show too much of this, but, you know, it's pretty standard. But if they start doing things like, for example, if they start shading outside, so I'm going to shade outside here um, to try to take away that C route. Then our post gets wide open, and you can really hurt them for a big game right there. Same deal with these crossing routes. So we're still playing that game of which shade am I getting, but we have a different play to do it from. Because um, you really don't want them honing in on exactly what play you're running each time and making, like a good player will make adjustments. They'll know, okay, if I run double China consistently, um, I'll know where to drop zones, I'll know where to use her. But if you mix up between double china, wide receiver post, and curls, then if they're gonna stay in main coverage, they're really in trouble because they don't know exactly which way we're gonna go. Same deal, if they shade underneath, um, the post will get wide open. Uh, you'll see it right away, and that's a horrible throw by me. You actually have to pass lead that up. <clears throat> so again, shade underneath. You see them beat like that. Oh, that's acrobat at its finest, but you can lead that out there. Trust me, free form, lead that all the way out there. Um, it definitely will work. <clears throat> um, same deal with like the C route and stuff. So this is another one where we're playing kind of the leverage of the defensive back and the shades. Now, obviously, if they go to zone, you know, you kind of want to just read low to high. It's typically how I read. Um, if I see that this left side is kind of naked over here where it's just the one guy one-on-one, -on -one, say they're starting to like get goofy and man stuff up, um, the C-Rod will win one-on-one -on -one against the deep blue. Uh, just read the field low to high, you know, take the drag route if it's there, and you have the next level read and then the next level read. I mean, this skinny post isn't great against cover three, but what it does do a good job against is uh, Tampa 2. So these multiple crossing routes... <clears throat> we'll draw these zones in a little bit and then Jalen Ramsey decided he was going to get a really good jam. Uh, so a lot of times if people don't um, baseline their zone coverage on this Tampa 2, they'll get a jam. But eventually that um, post route will end up cutting back inside right there. Or a nice little dot, right? So that's Wide receiver post versus main coverage and zone coverage. Now, I know we didn't really talk about press. Um, press, it, it, it actually makes it a little bit more obvious where they're shaded. Now, a cover zero stock shades inside, so a C route will win um, against that. And if you have a guy with, say you have mid-out elite over here, which we actually have, our mid-out elite is actually over here. But if you wanted to maybe run this as your base formation, you could put mid-out elite on this right side um, and it really does a good job with this post <clears throat> but you just see a snap of the ball um, there's not really on that one particular is not that much separation because it's Gabe Davis versus Jalen Ramsey the best corner in the game so you're not going to see that and he has no abilities but I would uh, you know I, I've tried this with um, Larry Fitzgerald and I have mid out elite on him and he just cooks people so it it's just depends where you have your guys. Sometimes you'll have to move them around depending on what play you're using. Um, if you really want to get that detailed into it. Um, I like, personally, I like staying in the single back doubles and audibling to these particular plays. But just know that that is an option for you as well, right? 